Yeah, you heard the music, you saw the intro. It's time for Just the Facts. Yeah, with the start of the 2024-2025 La Liga season, now less than a day away, our producers, yeah, they thought it would be a good idea to give Lance and I, as well as you, the viewers, a refresher, a refresher, they say, of some of the key stats and moments from last season. By the way, if it's a refresher, you should give us the answers with the questions. Ten questions were crafted, and they say the pass mark is six. Lance? Are you ready? I, I, I hope so. <laughs> All right, here we go with question one. Whoa. So they're asking how many goals did Dovbik score, the leading goal scorer from Girona? 24? Yeah, 24, I think. Yeah, Yeah. I'm, I'm struggling to see the questions. I don't know. Mm. Which player registered the most assists in La Liga last season? Whoa. I wonder if that could be Bellingham. That's not a bad guess. Let's try Bellingham. Girona had an impressive start to the 2023-2024 season, losing just one of their opening 23 league games. Um, which team beat them? Um, Real Madrid? Real Madrid, I think, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> True or false, Barcelona took the lead in both El Clasico fixtures last season. Well, they surely took the lead in the second fixture, which ended 3-2. But did they take the lead in the first? What was the score in the first? 2-1? Can't remember. <laughs> yeah, 2-1 was the score, and Bellingham scored a late winner. Well, that doesn't help us with who scored first. <laughs> I want to go with true. Yeah, let's try true. Let's try true for, for question four, yeah. Yeah. Um, Real Madrid won the title on the back of a rock-solid defense. How many goals did they concede last season? It was in the 20s. What? No. Not, not, not so many? No. Mm-mm. Let's come back to that one. Number six. Real Madrid also blitz opponents and scored the most goals in the competition with 87. Which team scored the second most goals? Girona. Girona. Okay. Mm. Girona. Next. Who was the winner of the La Liga Player of the Season Award? Bellingham. That's yeah. Bellingham. Jude. Which club had the most players nominated for the Young Player of the Season Award? Barcelona. Barcelona. Had the, young player, the winner of it. I would guess they had the most nominations as well. Yeah, let's roll with Barcelona. Name two of the three teams which suffered relegation. Almeria. Cadiz. Cadiz. Two of three, that's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to burst my brain anymore. <laughs> True or false, Jude Bellingham scored the second most goals in La false. Liga last season. False. False. I think he was tied third. Yes, he was third, yeah. Yeah. Tied for third, I think there were like three others yeah, we, who we, scored 19 as well. Right. Or two others who scored 19, something like that. All right, we have to go back to five. Real Madrid won the title on the back of a rock solid defense. How many goals what? did? They, they conceded 20 odd goals, like 25 or 26, I think. Okay. 20. Which 20, one are 26. you choosing? 26? 26, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. 24, so that's one from one. Wow. Okay, we had said Bellingham. Yeah. <laughs> Madrid, we got that right. Yeah. We true. Said true for this as yeah, well. Yeah. So three from four. Yeah. Twenty-six. We uh, conceded oh, twenty-six. There goals. you go, Lance. <laughs> four <laughs> from five. Girona, eighty-five. Yeah. Second highest. Five score from six. Team. Bellingham, yeah. Six from seven.
Oh, what Girona, the young players. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. But we said Cadiz and Almeria. Yeah. So we so, go there, yeah. Yeah. Seven from nine and falls eight from ten. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. As we tune up for the start of La Liga on Thursday. Yeah. Mm. All right, yeah. And just a reminder that La Liga lives on your home of champions and we have two matches on Thursday's opening day. Athletic Club, they'll host the Tafe that will be at 12 p.m. 1 ECT, followed by Real Betis versus last season's surprise package, Girona, that will be at 2.30, 3.30 ECT. Mm. Lance attack. <laughs> All right, now after the exhilarating Just the Facts quiz, we will be sticking with football. The UEFA Champions League winners Real Madrid and Europa League champions Atalanta assembled at the National Stadium in Warsaw. That's in Poland to clash for the UEFA Super Cup a couple of hours ago. The match was highly anticipated as football fans awaited Kylian Mbappe's Madrid debut, and he did not disappoint. Here are the highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, stand strong at the end of the first half. That's what we're going to be trying to have. And he will not be the Polices to this point. We will just have a little shot at some point. We need to be minute. Polices Junior might get a second opportunity. And we're doing our touches out against the crossbar. Huge opportunity. And again, getting the lucky break. For Ketelak. Three to pick out inside the Real Madrid penalty area. On the outside is the skipper got on. What's a free header and it's a magnificent save by Thibaut Corta to keep out Mario Pasalic. Bellingham. Atalanta backing off and it could be to their cost. second what an introduction for Kieran Mbappe Rodrigo does ever so well to nick the ball but this will be you have to say the first of many for Kylian Mbappe and no wonder he enjoyed it Laying down a marker. Right. No, they would have made it as winners of the Europa League. No way through again for Lookman. It's another trophy for Real Madrid. It's another UEFA Super Cup. And it is the first Real Madrid goal for Kylian Mbappe, who was always going to be the headline maker this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, It's their silverware again. UEFA Champions League winners. And now, Real Madrid, UEFA Super Cup winners 2024. A record breaking six uh, UEFA Super Cup title for Real Madrid in nine appearances in the final, well, in the playoff. And uh, no surprise that Kylian Mbappe is on the score sheet. We go to break back with a wrap on the show or interactive segment on the other side of the break.